Look what I have here! An answer to the age-old question. Which of these mics is better? And I'll tell you right now. The answer is... You're asking the wrong question. This is rolled. Every mic is phenomenal. The answer you're looking for lies in the question which one of these mics is right for which scenarios? Is there wind? Are there waves behind us? Are there cars? Like red and white? And it says stop. Are there people? Are there barking dogs or barking cats? I have no idea where I'm going. Because these different mics are different, like different vehicles are different. Let's say one of them is a car. It's good on roads. It's good on track. But it's not good off-road. Let's say the other one is good off-road. You can drive it in the mud, you can drive it on the desert, but it's not very usable in deep water. That's when this comes in. This is like a motorboat. It's good for motorboating. First, let's begin with prices. Video Micro is $59. Rode Video Mic Pro is $249. Rode Link is $399. So what are the differences? Let's begin with Video Micro. Video Micro doesn't require a battery. It comes with its windshield. It comes with a shock mount. You can take it out from its windshield, but when you take it out, the microphone is exposed a little too much. So it can pick up wind sounds that you may not like. So you may want to keep that on. You place it into the shock mount like this and then put the windshield on. You plug it in. Let's say you want to use it with this camera. Plug it into your microphone in and there. As soon as you turn on your camera, as soon as you hit record, it starts recording audio from this microphone. This microphone doesn't require any batteries, it doesn't require to be turned on or turned off. And it's a cardioid microphone, which means it will pick up sounds towards the direction it's facing and it will pick up less sounds from sides and behind. So when you're talking to your camera like this, it will pick up your sound, not the sound coming from behind. It's good. But when you hold your camera like this, it will not pick up your sound. And it picks up sounds between 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is really good. It's almost like you can record acoustic guitars with this. It's a really good, cool microphone. So you may be asking, what's the problem? Well, the cardioid is not narrow enough for your voice. When you're recording with this, it will pick up more general sound than just you. So if a car is driving by that is louder, it's gonna be louder than you. Okay, now we gotta play a game. Okay. <coughs> the game is called, who is in, what's in focus? You cannot adjust the decibel level. There is no minus 10 or plus 20, and there is no high pass filter. All right, now, this is video micro. Now, now it's facing me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera off and let's talk a little. As you can hear, the range, the polar pattern on this microphone is different. So you'll be hearing more stuff from the surrounding area. Like you'll be hearing the cars more. You're probably hearing me even less to the point of me blending into the background. Coming around you, dude. Thank you. So I may not be the best choice when you're out here, but no batteries. I don't have to worry if it's turned on or off. Everything is working. It's cheap and a beautiful microphone. As you may have noticed, it will give you this more open sensation. Now you'll be hearing these. 
much more. And if I get up and walk out of the frame, you'll probably hear me more or less same around here, maybe more or less same around here, but when I, as soon as I start walking away, it is gonna change because of its cardioid polar pattern. If I come behind the camera, you'll hear me differently once again. And when I walk towards my posters and take a look at these guys, look at that scout. Scout is always up to something. Scout is always up to something. I have a scout counter on my soldier. Hmm. I catch them like flies. As you can see, if I turn around while I'm talking, you'll hear things differently and you're gonna hear these differently. But if you want a mic which is more directional than cardioid, if you want a mic with wider range, 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz, where you want to pick up all the low ends as well, if you want control over your decibel, if you want to control your high pass filter, then you need this super cardioid mic called Video Mic Pro. This mic is amazing. You've probably seen this on top of a lot of cameras. But that's because it is really good. This is not a proper windshield. This is just a sponge. You can get an extra windshield if you like. But without windshield, as you can see, it is not that exposed. And it will save you from wind noise more or less. It is expensive, but not too expensive. A lot of people say the battery compartment is a little difficult to reach. But once you learn how to use it, it's not that difficult. You can use it very easy. You just have to know the order of things. You just push it in here and then you make sure it just sits up there. And then, yeah, there you go. Yeah. No need to get aggressive. There it is. And then you turn it on, which is something you have to remember. And after you shoot, you turn it off which is something you have to remember as well. You turn it on a little bit too much, you turn on high pass filter, which is something you have to look out for. But in the end, it is really good. And it says on the box, it gives you over 70 hours battery life, which I feel like it may be true because I don't remember running out of battery with this one. But if you do run out of battery while you're using this, or either over camera or under camera like I do here, you will not see it until you look at it. You have to look at it to see if the light is still on or not. So sometimes you may end up with footage without sound. This microphone is super cardioid, which is more directional than video micro, which means it will pick up sound right in front of it. So if you're standing here, it will pick your sound up and if there's someone there talking, they will not be as loud as you. But if you're here, and if you're holding it a little bit towards that way, and let's say there's a waterfall there, that waterfall may be really disturbing because it will pick up that sound. It looks like a gadget from Batman. Look at these little ventilation holes. With this narrow cardioid, super cardioid setup, there's gonna be a little sound picking up from the behind because of the polar pattern. So when you turn your camera around, maybe you can whisper to this area and still have your voice picked up. It's a little bigger than video micro and heavier than video micro. So if you wanna balance your camera on a gimbal, if you wanna balance your camera on a stabilizer, it may cause some problems. You may go over your weight limit. Now, as you can see, I have the video micro with the windshield on it and I didn't quite balance this camera so if it's shaking a little bit don't mind also this is a crane and it's not actually built to support this weight but you're probably hearing me very muffled so I'm gonna turn this around and now you must be hearing me a little better I'm gonna turn this one off a little better but the traffic behind me may interfere with my with my voice so for this kind of situation maybe this microphone is not the best solution also this just made my camera rig 
a lot heavier. My arm is getting tired. Oh, there's music in the background. Let's have the music in the background. And let's see if you can hear me properly while the music is in the background. Which one do you hear more? Do you hear me? Or do you hear the music? All right. Good, I think this is a good amount of talking and walking and looking around. You're probably hearing my voice bouncing off the walls a little bit more right now. And not just that, if I get up and start walking away, you realize that my sound, the sound you hear from me, is going to be different. And if I come behind the camera and take advantage of that tiny polar pattern, maybe you'll hear me better. I can come back and start staring at these posters and walk, talk, talk towards this way, you'll hear me differently. And if I come back and sit down, you'll hear me differently. And if I rub my feet on the ground, these sounds will become more apparent. But let's say you want to walk away from your camera and you want your voice to be heard as much as possible. Let's say you want to go 100 meters away and you want your voice as clear as crystal. Which brings us to our $399 Rode Link Filmmaker microphone which is one of my favorite. Rode Link comes with a receiver and a transmitter which is what I'm using right now and a lavalier microphone of course the lavalier microphone is omnidirectional which means it will pick up sound from every angle but since it is going to be so close to you it's gonna pick up only you i actually used lavalier mics in really noisy situations like ces and i was able to interview people with it and when I went to E3 the last time, I used this setup. And in that noise, in that rumble of games and people yelling and screaming, I wasn't even loud and the lavalier mic was able to pick up my sound. So it was fantastic. This is our song, remember? And it comes with this cute windshield. You put the receiver on your camera like this and then you connect this to your camera with the cable and then you wear the other one just like so. So now it really doesn't matter where you point your camera towards, your voice is going to be picked up. Now the problem with this is if you're talking to someone, you probably want to take this off and hold it towards them if they're answering a question you're asking. But other than that, if you're going around by yourself, this is just fantastic and also it is a great stand for my camera as well. But you have to watch out for two devices now that have double A batteries. Now you need four double A batteries and you have to make sure both of these are turned on both of these have enough power. If it doesn't, you can always use the USB port to power these up as well. So they're really good. Also, they have eight channels you can choose from. You can watch my review about Rode Link right here. Also, you can set the volume level minus 20, minus 10, zero, plus 10 and plus 20 decibels. And you can mute this. So let's say you're gonna go to the restroom and this is connected on top of someone else's camera and you don't want them to hear about your business, you can just hit this and mute it. But the problem with this is sometimes the connection breaks, especially in a crowded area like E3. All right, now as you can see, I'm using Road link. It is windy and walking around. I can go ahead and turn the camera around and we can look around and the traffic. You can look at the traffic and you'll probably be hearing me very easily without all the sounds of this traffic happening. 
behind me. So in a situation like this, a microphone, a lavalier microphone like this, can be very useful. Now let's hear them back to back. The traffic behind me may interfere with my with my voice. So you'll be hearing more stuff from the surrounding area. Like you'll be hearing the cars more. All right, now I'm back to road link. And as you can see, you can hear me very clearly. I'm gonna walk by the speaker now. And normally that would have been a little problematic if I was to use other stuff but as you can see i was able to cut off the sound as i'm walking by so you may ask which one to use in what scenarios all i can tell you is you can use this one in most scenarios if it's only about you if you're using it and you need to include other people maybe you may want to look in to video mic pro or video micro video micro is very cheap and it gets the job done to a certain level but the fact that it doesn't have the audio levels you cannot adjust the decibel to minus 10 or plus 20 can cause problems so in most cases you'll probably if you don't want to spend too much you're probably going to be fine just using video mic pro in other scenarios if you're going in a really crowded place then I suggest you can use a lavalier mic doesn't necessarily need to be a wireless lavalier mic it can be any lavalier mic and you'll be fine see they cannot they cannot bomb my shoe they cannot do anything I'm invincible you only hear me good luck with that all right I think my arms got a lot stronger now <laughs> oh look at that matte paint on a Ferrari that says you have taste but I'm not gonna say what kind of a taste but All right. for not so challenging quieter environments where you like to get the wider directional audio you can prefer easy to use video micro if you need narrower directional audio where things may get louder and you like to have more control you can prefer video mic pro don't forget to turn it on. And for highly isolated from the environment wireless audio needs, you can prefer Rode Link. Watch out, if one of it runs out of battery, you may not realize it until you finish your shoot. It picks up sounds from 100 hertz. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please! Hit that subscribe button, I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it. And join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about these microphones. Do you use similar microphones or do you prefer something else? In the comment section below. Ooh, 360 audio. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And oh shakalans.